Hey guys, I'm back with another candle review, and this time around for the 18 ounce Blueberry Lavender Cupcake Candle from Homeworks by Slatkin & Co. So once again, so random, right? But this is another one of those blueberry collection candles that are coming out tomorrow on the homeworks.shop website. And I've had this one, I've already finished and like completely tossed the first one, and now onto the second one here. I figured I'd do a review in case you were interested in purchasing the one that comes out tomorrow. Uh, the new version does have a beautiful, gorgeous, uh, classic photo label on it that is really pretty. Um, although this hobnail jar with the frosted pastel, like blue purple color is also pretty as well. But in any case, yes, the photo label is really juicy. And as you guys know, I love my floral bakery fragrances. So I was really excited to do it when this one first came out. And I got this one in the cherry blossom beignets, which that was a very divine fragrance as well. I think I actually favor that one over this one but this one's quite pretty and unique too so I do appreciate that but we'll get into it right now so the notes on this read wild blueberries lavender sprigs with buttercream frosting and vanilla cupcake so this is a very pretty uh unique fragrance uh definitely has the floral aspects in there from the lavender uh so what you do get first is definitely a little bit of a lavender I would say it's the, um has a little bit of the sharpness I was saying in my live video that this kind of smelled like bloody cornbread but I would say the lavender isn't as bloody or metallic as like the lavender in the blueberry lavender spritz from BBW that has that very strongly metallic almost like bloody type of uh, feel to it uh this does not actually have that much of that metallic quality to it. I would say it's a little bit more like powdery leaning than the metallic sharp astringency that you get in lavender. So you do get a lavender. Um, it's pretty delicate and pretty powdery. I would say the whole fragrance as a whole is very delicate and subtle, so it's not like too strong. Uh, but definitely a noticeable floral lavender presence in here. So if you're just somebody who's totally turned off by floral bakery or any type of floral notes, this is probably not going to be up your alley. But if you do enjoy a little bit more of a sophisticated, unique take on a bakery fragrance, and I would still check this one out. It's then mixed with a also very subtle blueberry. It's just like a very like just general berry sweetness kind of chilling in the background. Um, it's nowhere near as tart or juicy or bursting as the blueberry that you get in glazed blueberry muffin or farm stand blueberry nowhere near as like sweet or tart or juicy as that but there is a slight berry action mixed in there um and then it's finally mixed in with a kind of like a crumbly savory um muffin cupcake type of fragrance it's not as sweet as like a super heavy buttercream vanilla cupcake as the notes would imply it's more like a slightly savory, crumbly, uh, less sweet cornbread type of fragrance is what I get from it, which makes it a little bit strange, but I think it's just like the combination of that, like sort of like powdery lavender action with a not so sweet cupcake note gives it like a sort of like a cornbread muffin feel to it. So it's kind of like a lavender berry cornbread is kind of what I get. Uh, I honestly wish it was a little bit sweeter or creamier. When you smell the lid, there's a little bit more of that like buttercream and vanilla frosting type of feel to it that I enjoy. But when you go to burn it, the way the lavender mixes with the sort of like muffiny bakery note kind of just comes off as cornbread. So I kind of wish this was a little bit sweeter and a little bit amped up more on the buttercream and the frosting just to make it a little bit more creamy. But there's something more like sort of flaky or crumbly and more cornbread savory about this than I had wished for. But despite all that, it's still a rather unique and different fragrance. And it's kind of like you go to Homeworks to get more of those unique, different, sophisticated fragrances rather than the basic, very obvious type of like bakery fragrance you get from BBW. So I can't really like hate on the fragrance for that. But if I was just being really nitpicky, I wish it would a little bit, a little bit sweeter and a little less cornbread-ish. Uh, and that's kind of what this smells like. Uh, it's still a very unique fragrance, kind of like the kind of awesome like floral bakery blend that we kind of know and love from like Pink Pelt Tea Cake and those like earlier era BBW fragrances, uh, but still nowhere near as sweet as Pink Petal Tea Cake. So don't expect quite that either. So that's what this pretty much smells like. Let me go into the performance. So the major qualm with this candle right here is that it is so dreadfully light. Uh, the fragrance on this is very, very, very light. So I'll go obviously into the throw right now. Uh, I would say this is no more than like a two to a three. I would say in a open concept area, it does get kind of lost. So it's more in like the two range. I think if you have like cathedral feelings in a great room, you're probably going to struggle to smell this. Uh, but like maybe a smaller enclosed living room, like maybe up to a three, uh, but very light nonetheless. 
guess. I can only kind of smell it if I'm like in one room and then I walk into another room that it's burning in. I can kind of smell it as you enter the room, but you do kind of go nose blind to it while you are actively sitting in the room. So just keep that in mind. Uh, I would say maybe in a smaller room, I can get up to a three or a three four possibly but definitely hovers in the two to four range so definitely not medium and very much in the very light to light range so that's the biggest downside with this candle um in the instagram live they did say that the new version when uh somebody asked whether or not the new version was going to be stronger uh they did say this was you know perfected and strengthened for the new photo label version but honestly i would take that with a grain of salt as they are obviously business people intended to sell things and uh, considering the uh, claims that all their candles are house filling when we very much know it is not. Uh, I wouldn't quite put too much trust uh, into that statement, uh, but one can be hopeful or optimistic and hope that they did indeed improve and strengthen the uh, fragrance formula this time around. But kind of like if you had this one before and it was very light, I would probably, unless you just super adored it and willing to give it a second try, I wouldn't pick up the new version until maybe you got some reviews out there of people who actually burned it and can attest to the stronger or improved throw claim. Uh, but otherwise, this one is just so immensely light that it's just kind of like, I'm, I'm fine with just the two that I have from this duo and I really don't need to pick it up despite the beautiful photo label. As for the performance, it's doing fine. Uh, you know, the usual kind of like sooty hot wigs from Homeworks. I just trim the mushroom tops on them when they do make them, but you can see here it's just dancing viciously and it does suck quite a bit so definitely keep them trimmed so that's pretty much it for the performance on this candle overall pretty unique fragrance so definitely a thumbs up on that part but the lighter throw definitely leaves a lot to be desired and because it is so light and because the fragrance while unique and interesting isn't my favorite just because of that weird sort of cornbready and less sweet note. I personally would not be inclined to pick up the new version with a juicy photo label, uh, but once again, uh, obviously up to you for the final decision. So thanks so much for watching. Hope this was helpful and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.